this time on Metal Detecting and Fishing with Romy. Welcome back everybody. I'm uh, pulling out of my house here. Gonna go try to catch some poachers. We're gonna go get us some poachers. <laughs> uh, I heard the boys are in town. Thanks for giving me a call, boys. <laughs> We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go harass the boys and uh, see if there's anything worth finding, which I doubt there will be. I kind of gave them a warning when I found out they're in town, one of them anyways, that uh, the conditions over there suck. I was there the day before, which I'll show you a clip or two. My camera died. But we're on our way now. We're gonna go say hello, howdy do, all the good things catch us some poachers and uh, we're gonna probably head off to my my beach and steer away from PB and J so stay tuned folks all right so we're here on the scene here and we're trying to find us the poachers now we gotta be quiet and we gotta sneak up on him because they can be a bit skittish at times and we don't want to get bit and we definitely don't want to get hit by one of their sand scoops. So we're gonna sneak up on these guys. Here's one of them now. Let's see if I can show you one of them now. Pull in here. We, we got a poacher right over here. There he is. Pulling up to the scene. Here, poacher number one. Suspect me sneaking up on him. All right, so they've snuck off now, and they didn't suspect a thing. So we're gonna get on to the scene of the crime. <laughs> I gotta stop all this accent crap. It's cracking me up. <laughs> all right, they didn't they didn't see me, so we're gonna we're gonna gather up the rest of my gear and sneak up on everybody. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna play a little joke on these guys. We're gonna do a little advertising. There she goes. <laughs> Gotta get one for Tony. Mr. Tony Eisenhower. There we go. <laughs> They're set up. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get down to the scene of the crime. Don't wanna sneak around, real sneaky dog man. Don't let them see us. Look at their grid marks. Woo! This is a this is a Tony Eisenhower special right here. This one you know Tony's been in the neighborhood. He likes to do these big swirls. Grid pattern. Oh, that's Mr. Tony Eisenhower. Changing up the program. Alright, let's get back into stealth mode now and sneak up on him. Gotta get around the corner here. Don't let him see us now. Oh, he drug me in. <laughs> hey, Tony. How you doing, Romy? Good about you, buddy. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm glad to see you down here. Hi, yeah. I like your little microphone. <laughs> yeah, it helps muffle out that uh, that wind a little bit. Yeah, yeah it's better looking than a dead cat. Yeah. yeah. I heard you boys were down here, so I, I thought I'd stop by. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I think <coughs> Robert Ferguson's coming down here too pretty much. Right there. Oh, and his buddy Jordan. <laughs> some problems with his ex pal. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it looks like they pulled up about the same time I did. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Good, good to see you. Any, anything found? No. Oh, excuse me, man. Uh, I, I was looking for something over here. There ain't nothing here. <laughs> you won't be able to hear it anyway because my machine is on. What's up, brother? <laughs> I ran up in front of Tony. Right, I, He didn't see me, and I just started going like this right in front of him. <laughs> 
just he probably went. <laughs> yeah, this little grid, and I just jumped right in front of his grid and just <laughs> kept continuing it. <laughs> My machine wasn't on or anything. I just thought it'd be hilarious. <laughs> You got your mic working, huh? Me mic! Yeah, I got that thing finally in the mail. That thing really doles out that wind. It's rad. Okay. And then I can hear you from way the hell down there when you're cursing. <laughs> and I gotta put the dogs in there real silently. Yeah. How you doing, dude? I got a quarter, three dimes, and a penny, a couple pennies. All over here? No, along the way, and then I got the two dimes and a quarter under here. I don't know why. Quarters don't come in very strong on this machine. It's my first target though. A pretty loud target here. Sounds big. Probably a lead sinker though. Are you kidding me? It's a penny. It's just right on top. Ugh. Gotta hate these things. Quarter number two. And it was just the slightest sound. I could barely hear it. Oh, what's up with my machine? My batteries are dead. I just charged them overnight. It's just not performing well today. I'm not very happy. This is... I always lose track. I don't even know now. Target number is seven or something. Six or seven. Loud as ever. It's in some super soft sand, so it's gonna be a full tab or penny. We got a dime. That makes sense. I don't want dimes or small coins are ringing in. Nice and clear, but quarters, not so much. I don't get it. Something's up with my machine. Something strange in the neighborhood. All right, oh, just a minute after that dime. We got a super faint target. Well, she bet it's a quarter, because it's so faint. I don't get it. We got here penny. Of course it's a penny. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know what's up my machine if my batteries are dead or what, but I'm having a lot of difficulty with my machine. So this might be the hunt that's cut short or I might have to go back to the car and check my batteries or I don't know. This target sure sounds loud though. Of course it does, because it's a pull tab. Wow. Ah. Well, at least we know we can find pull tabs really good. <laughs> All right, we're back at the car. And we're back at the car because my machine's acting up. I don't get it. I don't know why it's, it's acting like it's got a short in the, uh, the cable or something. So I'm back at the car, trying to figure out if I need batteries, if I gotta go home and repair my machine. I don't know. We got a half an hour till low tide. And my machine took a dump. And we'll see what happened. We'll bring you guys in when we figure it out. All right, we took off. Um, I think my machine's batteries are just, my rechargeable batteries are taking a dump. I don't know. Um, I, I put back in some, some batteries I had used yesterday and it seems that it's working okay. Uh, I'm gonna go down to my beach now and see if we can, uh, figure it out there if there's still an issue I'm just gonna have to go home but uh we'll see if we can find something on beach number two beach number two I was way down there where that pier is you guys can see that pier now I'm at this one this one let's see if this one will give me anything Target number one at the new beach. Probably just a light piece of junk. Yeah. Maybe something small and light. Is it washed away with the surf? 
Still there? It's a zinc penny. Yep. All right, zinc penny. Well, I just stumbled upon a cut. It looks pretty fresh. So we're gonna walk around below it and see if we can find anything. The uh, beach is always changing, guys. Always changing. Look at this down below me. A lot of low spots there. A lot of spots holding a lot of shells and some troughs and cutouts. Some high spots. So there's a lot going on here today. There's a lot of places for me to investigate. I'm gonna look around that. But the way the conditions are, it's not too promising, but so better than sitting home. Well, I do believe I'm the first one on the scene to this cut. Because it's the second nickel and I think I found two or three pennies and a dime underneath this cut. So, I am hopeful that this just happened last night. A lot of crusty old green coins coming out of here. So that leaves me, leaves me hopeful that we'll find a, a ring or something. Hey, there is hope. There's definitely hope. That's a crusty steak quarter. So, I hope I find something good. Either way, I'm having a hell of a lot better time than I was over at Newport. It's a pretty good sized cut here. You guys can see my shadow. It's, uh, if I walk up to it, it's, it's about chest high. It's a good five foot cut. It's kind of faint. And I already see a guy metal detecting down here, but I think he's kind of a noob and he's working above the cut. So that's just fine for me. Uh, maybe it's something really small. Oh, here it is, a coin on the side. Hey, cool, it's a nickel. Got a coin, so that's a good sign. Yeah! All right, we're gonna work over this slope here for probably a few hours um, until low tide comes. Ross should be here anytime. He should see me walk in this area, so. Good times. All right. Yeah. This commercial break brought to you by Corona Extra. Corona Extra urges you to clean your trash up off the beach. It is not only a nuisance for us metal detectors and everybody else who likes to visit the beach, but it ends up in the ocean where there's ocean life. Clean up your trash, people! Corona Extra. You're a good dude, man. I'm trying to help out the wild. You're awesome. Yeah! I actually didn't think I had a knife, but I actually have a little key knife on my keys, so. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of sneak up from behind him. I don't want to scare him. Hey, little buddies. Yeah. Okay, buddy. You're okay. Get you out of here. Okay, good boy. Hey. Hold, on. Hold, on. Oh, hold on, buddies. Hold on. Hold on, boys. Try to hold his wings yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna bit. try and hold it. Yeah, hold him down here. It's around his head. See that yeah. pole? Hold on, okay, buddy. Okay, okay. Hold on. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Hold on, buddy. Might be digging no, in. It's not probably. It's gonna. Trying to get all this off of him. It's all trying to go down. Come on, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Go down here. Want to pick him up? He's all wrapped up in his legs. Oh, I don't want to get my damn keys here. Oh, wow. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Here we go. This is helping. Yeah, we're getting him. I'll hold that for me he real quick. He knows we're doing it. It's bad. Come on, fisherman. This is why you take your damn fishing line with you. Yeah. I'm a fisherman. I know better than this crap. Oh, you guys are awesome. I think he's, I think he's free. Yeah, I think he's free. You guys are awesome. Oh my god. 
Thanks. You're good, buddy. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you guys. You guys spotted it. Yeah. All right. He's Thank you. <laughs> good job, buddy. You're the man. All right. That bird's happy. Good job, guys. I saw a video the other day where they did the same thing about three days ago here. That's crazy. Well, the birds were all freaking out, and I saw him coming in. I'm like, what's wrong with him? Yeah. He couldn't get up. So when we saw the line, he just tried to keep it off of whatever was pulling it back. That's what he said. That's awesome. Yeah, he probably got yeah. caught up in some fishing tackle that was hanging out with some something that looked like food and he went after it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thanks, guys. No problem. <laughs> Good teamwork. <laughs> Barry, right? Uh, Robbie. Robbie. I don't know why I was thinking Barry. I'll hit you up on your page. Yeah, dude, do that. Yeah. Well, that was cool. That was one of my loyal fans. I was detecting along the beach here and he stopped and said, hey man, I'm one of your subscribers. Thought I'd uh, stop and talk to you. I guess that really helps having my shirts on and people know who I am. He's a really nice guy. He's a local down here and we've been talking for about the last 45 minutes while I'm waiting for the old silver sniffer to show up. Anyways, uh, he's found a lot of a lot of really neat stuff, man. He's got a lot of gold rings and stuff, and he's using an AT, uh, uh, um, not an AT, uh, an Ace 250. And um, he's smart. He's hitting some areas that are overlooked. And I've also hit, but he must have hit them first. <laughs> uh, right on, Robbie. Nice, nice to meet you if you're watching this. Oh, Ross the Silver Sniffers here. We gotta do this over again because I thought my machine took a poop. And he's lending me his slayer to slay some treasure with. Because mine keeps taking a poop. Because his is tied to the boneyard. It, it go poopy. It's like the breeding ground of sand dollars. Bunch of live ones in here. These guys are right next to each other. <laughs> Little purple sand dollars. When they're purple, you know they're alive. They're all up in here. Let's see, there's another one. There's two more. Look. There's one. There's another one. Here's another one. That's yeah, cool. Cool to see somebody in here. I, I find these kind of often in the beach. They're the weirdest things to find. Poker chips. Well, from these from the boats that gamble offshore? I don't know. Weird. Boys, there are sand dollars out here by the by the hundreds. They're just everywhere. It's crazy. Look how cool, guys. Look at some of these starfish on here. Uh, isn't that cool? One down there. There they're here. On these pier pilings. There's another one over here. Cool. Starfish. All right, really not finding much down here. Really sparse. And of course, it's pull tab. It's about par for the course for the day. Really, really nothing down here. All right, we'll keep you guys live for this one. I, uh, I dug up a fish hook and a bobby pin since that last pull tab. Nothing but junk. Oh, we got something here. Making a, from what I consider a decent tone. They're using this machine that I know very little about, but I already like it very much. Oh, what do I see? I see some jewelry, ha ha ha. Hey, hey! It's just some junk. Oh, what's that cat's marked? Go oh, that's hilarious. The oh, I thought the cat, cat was marked 18 carat. It's just a cheap little cat. On what looks to be a cheap little chain. Yeah, nothing but some junk. I'll take it. Still fun to find. I like seeing it in the scoop. What do you know? I got a coin. And it's a nickel. 
I got a nickel. Ross over there, digging away. He must have found himself a little hot spot. I'm walking up and down this beach trying to find any area full of targets. I can't find a concentration other than light stuff up high. So I'm gonna go over there and sneak a peek and see what he's up to. Hopefully he's finding stuff. So I'm about ready to call it quits. I got a nickel too. That's all crooked. I mean, you're, you screwed the thing in the side. Oh, did I? It's all, it's all it's screwed. Not even in the middle. <laughs> it's off of the side of your hat. The sand dollars are becoming a pain in the butt. Yeah. I'm afraid to break them. Me too. Well, know. Ross got himself. Most people are walking over the <clears throat> Yeah, they don't see just a little star portion sticking out. Ross got himself a little pocket here. He found a uh, little concentration. He's been working in here for a little bit. It's a concentration can. And uh, sure, I must have. I must have. Silver seen. dollar. Silver dollar. <laughs> it's a purple dollar, not a silver about one. About forty dollars in silver dollar. <laughs> yeah. Sand dollars. Same here. Uh, silver dollar. Sand dollar. If they were only silver, right? We'd be out here in the droves collecting these. Um, he found a pocket and he got onto something you can put your finger in. Hey, that's got to be silver. That's a silver. Yep, there's a marking. You see it? I can't, I couldn't see it. Yeah, really tiny, 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 tiny. I don't know what the hell it says, but there is a marking. Oh, that's a tiny one. It says 10K, dude. No, it was Wouldn't a that be tone. sweet? That was cool, look at that, guys. He got rich today. Yeah, rich. <laughs> 14 cents worth of Woo, Hey, that's better than nothing. We, we didn't even find 14 cents out here, so. <laughs> uh, I think I've got 14 cents now. <laughs> okay, well, aren't you lucky? I've got a, about eight pennies <laughs> and a nickel. <laughs> so. Well, I'm glad he got a little piece of silver because. Well, that doesn't equal 14 cents yet. I think my math is. My math is so bad. <laughs> hey, if I got a quarter here. around here, I'll give you a quarter for it. Uh. <laughs> But we're having a good time. It's nice. It's, we're having tide's fun getting out. Back in. Yeah, tide's coming back in. Yeah, for the last so 20 get minutes. I want to work back that way before <laughs> this gets too deep. <clears throat> Sounds good to me, man. So we're gonna go ahead and work our way back to the car because today sucks. But hey, good on you, Ross. All right, we got a signal here. Might be our last signal. Guys, we're getting pretty close to getting out of here. And there's just not much to be found today. So. Of course, it's a bobby pin. Ah, oh, part for the course. Peace, man. Peace. <laughs> I'm right by my exit here and I think that's uh, my, my sign. It's trying to tell me, peace out, dude. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't think that's even silver. I think it's just some giant. But it's black. Could be silver. You never know. Crap. Crappy day. We saved a bird. That's it. Let's get the hell out of here.